Good afternoon. Uh, my name's Mr. Howard, Deputy Head Teacher at Sheffield Springs Academy, and I oversee the pastoral care and uh, standards and expectations within the academy. So tonight we're going to look at uh, getting ready for September 2024, and we're going to look at uniform equipment and homework in particular. I just want to start this um, webinar by saying thank you. Thank you for the support that you've uh, shown us uh, this year as we've tried to implement the very best standard of education for each and every pupil at Sheffield Springs Academy. We are continuing to improve as a school and we can only improve as a school with your support. We are already looking forward to the future and returning to school in September. And again, we'll call on for your support in September to help school be the best possible place it can be for each and every student that attends. I just wanted to remind us of the values that we have at Sheffield Springs Academy. We've got respect, excellence, ambition and pride. We add those values and hold them close to us each and every day to make sure that uh, Springs is the best possible place to learn and the best possible in pla place for, uh, in for every student to, to attend. We have three school priorities and these won't come as a surprise to you. We've shared them uh, each year and we've shared them with our students every term. So our first priority has been improving behaviour and conduct and uh, we've put a, a number of uh, policies and procedures in place this year and we'll continue to do that going into September 2024 and I'll go into more information on that in a second. Raising attendance and uh, making sure that every student is in front of a teacher is vitally important to make sure that they have the best possible chance when they leave post 16. And while they're in the academy, we are making sure that every lesson is brilliant because every pupil deserves the very best education. So currently, uh, these are current ex, uh, expectations. And the reason why we put these in place is because we want to remove barriers. We want every student to succeed and thrive at Sheffield Springs Academy, and we don't want any excuses. So the first one uh, I'm going to quickly go over is mobile phones. This year, we introduced a no mobile phone uh, to be seen on site. Next year, we are extending our no mobile phone policy. So currently pupils are allowed mobile phone before school and after school uh, on the main yard. Now, as soon as a student enters through the green gate uh, from September 2024, mobile phones will be expected to be away and not to be seen or heard in the academy. This will also apply at the end of the day. Students will be expected not to uh, take out their mobile phones until they leave site completely. So that's leaving through the green gates, either via uh, East Bank Road or Hurlfield Road. Every student is requested to take off their outdoor wear whilst in the academy building. This allows us to uh, complete uniform checks and to ensure that students are wearing full school uniform, but also uh, allows us to check that uh, every student is a Sheffield Springs Academy student. We believe that students need to be in front of their teachers. We, we give students ample uh, opportunities to visit the toilets before school, break time, lunch time and after school. Every minute matters in learning and education. The toilets are closed at the start of lessons for 10 minutes and at, uh, before the end of the lesson for 10 minutes. Only students that have got a toilet pass will be allowed to leave learning to visit the toilet. This is a medical pass and a medical letter will need to be provided to our uh, school medical officer and the pass will be provided to them so that their members of staff are aware that they have got a toilet pass and can leave the lesson. Punctuality is another uh, area we've been focusing on hugely this year. Currently, the gate uh, is shut at 8.28. From September 2024, 
the gates will be shut at 8.25. The first bell goes at 8.25. All students will be expected to be through the green gates, either via East Bank Road or Hurlfield Road, by 8.25. They will be shut and lock, locked. If any student arrives after 8.25, they will need to make their way round to the late uh, late gate, which is near the reception. All students will be expected to be in form from 8.30. So that gives them a five minute movement bell. We've introduced line up this year and currently students line up at the end of break and at the end of, end of lunchtime. Now this has allowed uh, students to become more focused for learning quicker. After their social time, students line up and then staff will walk their uh, class in silently to their lesson and start their lesson promptly. This has reduced, vastly reduced the amount of late to learning, which has also reduced the amount of disruption to learning. The amount of uh, students causing disruption has reduced massively as well because they are more focused when they start the lesson. We believe that every every minute matters in education. So starting those lessons in a uh, orderly fashion and a focused fashion allows more education to take place. We will continue this into September 2024. Now, what underpins uh, our school, sort of school values is our reward system. Now, pupils are rewarded uh, every day within the academy. Firstly. Uh, they are rewarded an excellent mark for attending the academy, but then they've got opportunities to receive other uh, um, marks for respect, so showing respect towards staff and students in our school environment, getting ambition marks for completing their homework, attending extracurricular activities and representing the academy, and then pride. They will get marks on their presentation, uh, and uh, having full school uniform and equipment. These are all collated and our students uh, complete the Springs character uh, passport. Certain pupils, as they climb the ladder, will get uh, bigger rewards. And currently we've been giving away PlayStations and Xboxes for those students that are working their way through uh, this reward system. We celebrate with our rewards every Friday where we have uh, staff giving out uh, donuts for those pupils that have cashed in enough points for that week. This is a massive uh, celebration every Friday at break time and pupils and staff really enjoy it. And we'll continue this into September 2024. So moving into September 2024, raising expectations. The first area I want to concentrate on is uniform. As we continue to strive for excellence at Sheffield Springs Academy, I want to take this moment to recognise the importance of wearing the correct uniform and adhering to our dress code policy. Wearing the correct uniform is not merely about conforming to a set of rules, it is a reflection of our character and our values, particularly those about respect and pride. By wearing our uniform correctly, students demonstrate their respect for themselves, their peers and the school. It instills a sense of pride and professionalism, preparing them for the expectations of the wider world beyond the academy. First off, students are required to either wear a a uh, school branded jumper or blazer. We are not expecting students to wear both. It is either a jumper or a blazer. So students uh, who wish to wear the jumper, it needs to be a grey V-neck long sleeved jumper, which has got the Sheffield Springs Academy branded badge, as you can see in that photograph. Those that wish to wear a blazer, it needs to be navy blue and also have the Sheffield Springs Academy brand on it. It needs to be kept smart and clean and then worn throughout the school day and then to and from school unless directed otherwise by staff. Next, shirts and ties. Every student is expected to wear a white shirt with a school uh, Sheffield Springs Academy tie. Next year, the expectations are that those the shirt is tucked in. 
Students are currently reminded at the moment that uh, their shirts need to be tucked in, but it's going to be an expectation that we will not keep reminding pupils for. They are expected as soon as they are on site to have their shirt tucked in at all times. If they uh, fail to have their shirt tucked in, they will be given a uniform uh, demerit. If a student gets three demerits in a week, they will receive a, a sanction. Students will need to take responsibility for their appearance and take pride in their appearance each and every day. Students can wear uh, trousers and these trousers need to be black, formal and tailored and in full length. We will not accept any jeans, leggings or shorts. Trousers should be worn with a secure fit around the waist. Students that wear uh, skirts, from September 2024, all skirts within the school academy must be knee length. Skirts should be black and either pleated or an A-frame. Skirts should not be shortened by rolling up at the waist. I must reiterate again, from September 2024, every student who wishes to wear a skirt, it must be knee length. Black shoes. Students are required to wear black school shoes. We are aware that some students may need to wear trainers for medical uh, purposes. We request, as in the toilet passes, that a medical letter is provided to our medical officer. Only then will a student be uh, given the permission to wear trainers and a pass will be provided. I must stress again, if any parent is unsure what uh, style of shoe is acceptable, please get in touch with Sheffield Springs Academy via uh, our telephone system or inquiries at sheffieldsprings.org and we will be able to support you in your purchases of your uh, black shoes. Jewelry has also become a focus for this year and will continue into September 2024. The main reason for this focus is because of the health and safety that is required for students within the academy. So facial uh, piercings are not permitted. If a student already has a facial piercing, a clear tainer uh, is allowed. Students will not be allowed to wear hoops, stretches or spikes in their ears. Only stud earrings, please. Students also must make sure they do not have false nails. The only uh, jewellery uh, a student can wear around the wrist is a watch. So again, stud earrings only, no hoops. And this is from a health and safety aspect, and we must protect each and every student. PE kit is mandatory for every student, and uh, they need to bring in their PE kit every time they've got PE that week, that day, sorry. The uh, kit is available and we expect students to wear branded uniform, uh, branded uh, polo shirt or branded hoodie. If students are unable to uh, get this kit, then the next option is a black or plain navy polo shirt or black or plain navy uh, hoodie. We understand that uh, students may not feel comfortable wearing uh, shorts, so we uh, uh, allow students to wear tracksuit bottoms or sports leggings if they want. If a student requires to wear a coat, it will need to be a plain navy or black waterproof coat and not their normal day-to-day uh, -day coat. This year we've seen the introduction of uh, school bags and making sure that students have the tools necessary to succeed. So in that school bag, we would expect pupils to carry around their pe pencil case with the, um, the right equipment in that pencil case. Also, they will need to carry around their planner, which is coming back into effect from September 24, and the, either their lunch or their uh, PE kit if they have PE on that day. Any student that doesn't have the correct equipment will have the opportunity to purchase 
uh, pens or pencils from student services, which is a new service we're putting in place from September 2024. This year we've seen the introduction of homework and we will continue to have homework for every student that attends Sheffield Springs Academy. The main reason for homework is that it helps build independence of our students, but also has a, a positive impact and uh, gives students a plus five uh, months uh, sort of education on that. We believe that homework helps breed success. So year seven, eight and nine are expected to access their English, maths and science homework via Sparks Reader or via Sparks Science. Each subject is given 30 minutes per week. It is not optional and must be completed. Year 10s will see English through Seneca and then maths and science through Spark Reader or Spark Science. Any uh, student that uh, fails to complete their homework will receive an after school detention. And if a student doesn't attend that after school detention because it is their responsibility, they will then receive a high tariff behaviour and uh, access to students support unit. So as we move forward into September, September 2024, we're going to do a dry run. Now the term of the dry run is that we are going to increase our standards and expectations again to make school the best possible place so that learning can be maximised every lesson. So in the last week of term, we are uh, week commencing the 20, uh, 15th of July, We'll be running a week long mock September run through, focusing on raising the standards in a, of the academy uniform. Students will be subject to the increased high standards and failure to follow these standards. We will seek support from parents. Now, no sanctions will be put in place uh, during this week, but we will inform parents where students have not met the necessary uniform standard and we will seek your support in anticipation for September. We want our students to be successful and we thank you for your support with this. So thank you so, so much for listening. If you do have any questions you may uh, have, please add them into the chat function and we will endeavour to answer these over the next 15 minutes. I will send out a link of the recording of this meeting and if you'd like to listen again to any sections. If you do have any further questions that you may uh, wish to ask, please email inquiries at sheffieldsprings.org and we'll be able to support you from there. Have a lovely evening and thank you very much for uh, listening.